Hey guys and girls, how's it going? Hope you guys are having a great weekend. So I'm back today with another What Do We Know So Far video and this one is on Quantum Break. Now for those of you uh, that don't know, Quantum Break is from the developers Remedy Entertainment and they brought you amazing games like Max Payne and Alan Wake. Now the game is published by Microsoft Studios and it is a completely exclusive game on the Xbox One and the PC which is due for release on the 5th of April. So it is coming out very soon. Now this game looks absolutely absolutely amazing for me it was this game that actually made me want to buy an xbox one and i think this game probably is going to be the biggest reason to convince people uh, to purchase an xbox one in 2016 so let me tell you everything that we know so far so i've scoured the internet done heaps of research on this game watch videos you name it and this is everything that we know so far about quantum break so the main story well quantum break is set around uh, riverport university now this is a fictional university set in the northeastern uh, side of the united states At the start of the game a time travel experiment has gone horribly wrong now this causes time to start to break down and it also grants two of the main characters in the game, Jack Joyce and Paul Serene, different time-based abilities. Joyce, our resident hero in the game, can actually stop time and control it and speed it up. Serene, on the other hand, can actually see into the future, which gives him a you know a decided tactical advantage. And he basically is a friend turned villain in the game. Now, during the story, Jack Joyce and Beth Wilder are racing against time to try to to stop time breaking down and to try to save the world but while they're doing this they are being pursued by uh, Monarch Studios which is basically a corporation founded by Serene. Now the game is absolutely massive uh, it has been confirmed that the digital download of the game will be roughly about 44 gigabytes in size so it's pretty big. Now one of the elements to the game that makes this incredibly uh, interesting and unique and different because of course time time travel controlling time that's not a new concept there's a lot of games previously that have tackled that that sort of area um, but the thing about this game that makes it different and unique is the whole um, element where they're actually talking about combining the game with a live action digital series so what this basically entails is after playing through a segment of the game an episode of the digital show will actually play now during the game uh, the video game portion will tell the story of the protagonist the heroes while the live action show will actually tell the story from the perspective of the villain now pay players can make choices as the antagonist at the beginning of each live live action episode of the TV show. Well, now these decisions that you make can actually influence the state of the game and uh, similarly the the game perhaps will influence the choices that you make in the episodes so you know whether or not you'll have complete control over how the story goes you are going to be able to have some kind of influence on it and uh, that's quite exciting. Now the series will actually consist of four uh, live action episodes, each of which will be about 22 minutes in length. And these will come digitally, um, either if you download the game or also, you know, if you buy the disc copy, I would assume that these are actually on the disc and that as you complete main missions and sections in the game then the stories will will begin so that will break up the gameplay quite nicely and from a story based perspective it should make the story incredibly interesting especially when we're looking at the, the two differing perspectives in the game versus in the story now a large part of this um, trying to to make the the game completely immersive and the story amazing is uh, Remedy have actually cast a uh, quite major um, actors and actresses to play the main characters in the live action show and also have done full facial uh, capture and animation for the game as well so that the the story feels real feels gritty the actions behavior mannerisms of the characters look brilliant as well so three of the main characters that have been cast that i'm sure many of you know sean asmo has been cast as Jack Joyce, the main hero in the game. Now, most of you are probably going to recognize him as Iceman from X-Men. Uh, Dominic uh, Monaghan um, has been cast as William Joyce. Now, that's the brother of, uh, of Jack Joyce in the game. And 
I'm sure most of you know him. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, uh, you will definitely know him as Merry from Lord of the Rings. And finally, Aidan Gillen uh, has been cast as Paul Serene, the main villain in the piece, um, who, you know, obviously has time travel abilities. And everybody will know him as Littlefinger in Game of Thrones. Now, I think this casting is perfect um i particularly aiden gillen as the main antagonist i think that's a perfect choice especially given how crafty and shady he is as Littlefinger, and he's going to be really able to bring a kind of a sinister element to the character um and and a gravitas to the character um that perhaps you know we wouldn't get if we didn't have you know a hollywood quality um style actor so that's basically the story and the live action show and how that's going to impact on it and that that for me is one of the most exciting parts of quantum break that i can't wait to find out more about and to experience so let's talk about the gameplay because obviously that's pretty important um for any any gamer that's what we want to know about now quantum break is going to be a third person action adventure game in the game you play as jack joyce who has very interesting time manipulation abilities. Now, of course, um, it's a third person shooter as well. So there are a variety of firearms available in the game. And as you're playing through it, you can stop time temporarily, allowing him to escape from attacks or freeze enemies. There are a number of offensive and defensive abilities that he does have. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of them briefly. So some of the offensive abilities that, that Joyce has. So he has something called time blast and that basically can be used in two ways it can be used as an offensive projectile but it can also be used to reverse the direction of bullets as well um, similarly as well you have something called time rush and this basically allows him to um, zip right up to the the enemy born right next to them and perform an immediate melee takedown which just looks absolutely badass uh, you can also speed up time and to swap between covers and confuse enemies so they obviously lose sight of you and are still aiming at your last known location and you've gone round and you're able to flank them and gain an advantage in that way. Also, uh, Joyce has a number of defensive abilities which sound pretty cool as well. You have something called a time shield and that allows you to deflect bullets and attacks. You also have something called time dodge which basically allows him to dash quickly um, to evade attacks. So for example, if you were to go into uh, a room and suddenly there are guards there, you can, you can switch on time dodge and that will allow you to zip out of the way and get safely behind cover uh, so that you can decide how you want to take out uh, the enemy enemy troops in in that room there's also a puzzle solving element to the game as well you will be able to relieve frozen npcs in the world to actually help you um, in your quest as well now i have to say that the combat mechanics look really interesting and fun i love the whole idea of controlling time and using that uh, as part of the combat and it feels very 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 real even the sound effects in some of the gameplay we've seen sound amazing in terms of you know bullets the noise of bullets slowing down the sound sound sounding incredibly distorted as you're as you're sort of controlling time and and um you know, using different elements that you have. But I do have to say that, that Jack Joyce, it, it seems like his combat abilities are incredibly OP. So I don't know whether or not you're just going to feel completely overpowered. I do know that there are tiered enemies in the world. For example, there are a, a, a number of uh, higher level enemies that, ha that have wear special suits so that had, they have similar abilities to Jack Joyce. I'm sure they will be more challenging, of course. But the game it looks fun don't get me wrong it looks heaps of fun but it looks like he's going to be a bit overpowered in what he's doing so if, if you are interested in buying quantum break on release and in pre-ordering it there are actually a number of bonuses to doing that so if you dish the pre-order the game on the xbox store um, in the uk it is actually 49.99 and you do gain a number of uh, benefits from that so not only will you get you know f um, day one access to quantum break but you'll also gain a download code for the first alan wake game plus the dlc packs the signal and the writer uh, which are basically um backwards compatible on the xbox 360 so you'll be able to download them if you have an xbox one and you also gain access to alan wake american nightmare as well 
and that's if you pre-order it digitally. Now I did look around at different shops and the only other place that I found that are doing that deal as well is Game. And actually Game are selling Quantum Break at a cheaper price of $39.99. Uh, and of course you get a physical copy of Game as well. So that is basically everything that we know about Quantum Break. Now I have to say I'm incredibly excited about this game. I will definitely be pre-ordering it, not only for the benefits and bonuses that you do get, but just simply because this game looks so amazing. I can't wait to play this game uh, when it comes out on the 5th of April. But there's everything that we know so far about it. So let me know what you guys think of Quantum Break. Are you interested in it? What do you think of the gameplay? What do you think of the concept with the live action show? Will you be pre-ordering the game? Let me know in the comments section below. I'll be back again later with more What Do We Know So Far videos. So please look forward to that. All right, guys and girls, well, take care. And as always, happy gaming. Yeah. what do we know so far video and this one is on quantum break now for those of you uh, that don't know quantum break is from the developers remedy entertainment and they brought you amazing games like max Payne and alan wake now the game is published by var so i've scoured the internet done heaps of research on this game watch videos you name it and this is everything that we know so far about quantum break so the main story well quantum break is set around uh, riverport university now this game that actually made me want to buy an Xbox One and I think this game probably is going to be the biggest reason to convince people uh, to purchase an Xbox One in 2016. So let me tell you everything that we know so far. Hey guys and girls, how's it going? I hope you guys are having a great weekend. So I'm back today with another Microsoft Studios and it is a completely exclusive game on the Xbox One and the PC, which is due for release on the 5th of April. So it is coming out very soon. Now this game looks absolutely amazing for me. It was 